Hey everybody, Jonathan Cracks here with GreenJoyments.com and today we're going to be talking about something you can do with your milk jugs and tomato plants. Every day, thousands of these and even some might say hundreds of thousands of these plastic milk jugs end up in landfills in the ocean and these things just don't break down. Well, what you can do with them is actually take and make potted planters out of these milk jugs. So today we're going to be planting four different plants in four different milk jugs and we'll be using them here. You can actually do this in an apartment or at your house if you have space to hang something up. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take milk jugs. You need some milk jugs if you're going to do this. Also need potted plants. We have four of these. We have three tomato plants and one pepper plant. When you select a plant, you're going to want to select one that has some weight to whatever the fruit is, uh, but maybe not too much weight. We haven't tried cucumbers or zucchini or anything like that. Zucchini grows in this huge plant, so you want something that kind of grows in a vine and kind of grows out, uh, but tomatoes and peppers work well. You're also going to need a pair of scissors for this project or a razor blade knife, and then you're going to need some string or some wire uh, to actually hold the milk jug up. I have this wire from previous projects that we've done, so that's what we're going to use here for this, but um, you could also use string. It would work just as well. You just want to make sure you have some sort of heavy-duty string or fishing line to do this. So we're going to go ahead and go through this very quickly, and uh, you'll see how this works. I'm also doing this here at the kitchen sink because we're going to be putting potting soil in and getting it wet and it needs to drain out. I don't have a good place outside to do this right now because I'm actually doing this in an apartment. If you're doing this outside, it will work great, uh, but you, you can also do this just in an apartment in your kitchen sink. So we have the bottoms cut off of here. Before I get the plants in there, what I'm going to go ahead and do is use the wire that I showed you earlier and go ahead and wire these so that they can hang up outside on our patio. Poke four holes into the part of the milk jug that we actually cut out from. And if you're doing this with kids, you may want to uh, help them with some of these steps. The rest of them they can actually do, but you may want to help them with these steps here as far as cutting the milk jug is concerned just because it involves using scissors, depending on the age of the kids that you're doing this with. And now I'm just going to take my wire and put it through the hole here, just like that. And I'm going to twist it back around itself. So now we have our four strings all tied up here, or our four wires, however you do it. This will actually hold the weight of our plant once we actually get the plant in there. The next step, really, is just to take the plant and basically feed it through the hole here. We're going to have it so that it's upside down, and the plants are going to grow actually completely upside down. So we're going to go ahead and feed this pepper plant. We're going to start with the pepper plant and go ahead and feed it through the hole here where it's going to grow upside down. And this is probably the most tricky part of the project, to get it through here without actually breaking the plant. So you just want to do it nice and slow. And there we have our upside down growing pepper plant. Now we're going to do this actually with a couple other, with the tomatoes too. But then you basically just fill this hole here with dirt and the plant will grow upside down into the dirt. One other nice thing is that when you get these plants, if you get the ones that have the peat pots around them, you can just break this up already inside of the milk jug and then it's already basically ready to go. You don't have to like worry about taking the plastic pot off. It's just already in there. So we're going to go ahead and do that with the pepper plant here and then fill the rest of the milk jug with potting soil. So now we have our plant. It's filled with potting soil. The only thing left to do is to fill this with water and let the soil kind of settle a little bit and then we'll fill the rest of it with soil and the plant will actually grow its roots right into the potting soil and uh, as we hang it and let it grow all summer we'll actually have vegetables growing from the bottom of our milk jug. We're going to repeat those steps three more times and then we'll have four potted plants to hang up outside. Alright so now we have our four plants potted 
and have made a thorough mess of the sink here. I'll have to clean that up. But then we're just going to put water in each one of these and doing our best not to spill any of the soil out of here and also being very careful not to break the plant on the tip of the milk jug. We are going to take and fill these with a little bit of water before we hang them up. And that may happen to you. <laughs> so just be careful. One thing you could do is if you have some like chicken wire or something, you could hang it over the sink and then you can drop these through the chicken wire so that the milk jug sort of sits like this and that makes it much easier to fill them with water um, but this will work too uh, just is a little more difficult but this is the reason why you want to do this step in the sink or why you want to do this if you're in an apartment in the sink or why you want to do it outside because it can get a little messy if you do this on a carpet or on a tile floor or anything inside. So you want to make sure you're either doing this outside or uh, in a sink if you're inside. And while those are draining, we're just going to take these wires and we're going to go ahead and put all the wires together that are uh, here with the pot. So we have these four wires right here, and I don't know if you can see those on the camera real well, but we're just going to take these and twist them together, and that's going to be the thing that we're going to hang our plant with. And we'll just repeat that step uh, three more times, and then we will have four plants to hang outside. So here we have it, our plant that is going to go ahead and go get hung outside, and then we should have nice tomatoes uh, towards the end of summer. We'll go ahead and hang these outside, and... Um, just want to thank you actually for visiting us today at greenjoyment.com where you can find all kinds of great helpful tips and tricks like this. Um, things like if you live in an apartment, how should you grow vegetables? Well, this is one great way and it's a great way to use the old stuff that would just get thrown away anyway in order to create something new and actually grow food that you can eat. So uh, we're going to go ahead and hang these outside and again, thank you very much for joining us today at greenjoyment.com. Steps four more times. We're going to repeat those steps three more times. 